This is Gondor One. Hello there, I am Will Quick from Guidefall, and today I'm talking with Nick Apostolides. That was good. How you I did. I did. <laughs> that was awesome. Good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I was a, had a mini panic attack there. Um, Me too. No, I've gotten that all my. I've gotten that all my life. Don't worry. Is it? Are, is it? Uh, is it? A, is it? A, is it a Greek name? I'm actually curious. Is it? That's is it that's very Greek. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm half Greek, half Italian, split right down the middle, Mediterranean, all the all way. All right. All right. And how long have you been living in California? I'm guessing is where you're based. I've been in California for uh, let's see, about twenty. 13 if my memory serves me and so we're going on a, a good decade all right all right cool 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 um great i guess i should actually give you a bit of an introduction so nick here is actually the face motion and voice of leon kennedy from the recently released resident evil 4 remaster as well as the re remaster of resident evil 2 and as right. many as many people would probably say resident evil 4 is probably the best one of the series. I mean, Village is, has gotten quite a few accolades, and Seven got some got some honorable men, honorable mention there for returning to the original feeling. So, I guess I guess I'll start off this. Like, Nick, how familiar are you with the with the Resident Evil series? Like, are you a huge fan? Is it just something that is like, oh, this sounds cool. I want to be a part of it. Or like, how how much do you know about Resident Evil? Well, I'm assuming because you're asking me, you probably don't know, but Resident Evil has been my favorite franchise since uh, since 1998. So really? I'm intimately familiar with the franchise. And yeah, when I got the chance to portray Leon Kennedy in the Resident Evil 2 remake, that was a very surreal moment in my life. And I got to share that with my little brother, who is also a massive fan. And, wow. and then years later, when they offered me the role for Leon in, in RE4, RE4 is my personal favorite out of the series too. And so to to remake the first game I ever played with mm -hmm. them and then remake my favorite game with them, it's, just, it's like, <laughs> it was like two dream come true, you know? See, yeah, this, this, that's that's interesting that you're meant to, that, first of all, that's extremely cool. It's like, it's actually, it's, I, I love here, it's lucky. Really that's lucky. All, that's also, that's, that's I appreciate your honesty. Um, but I just, I just want to say, it's just, it's so cool to just hear that, you know, this, this, you realizing a dream of yours and, you know, alongside, yeah. like with your, with your, with your brother, I feel, I think that's amazing. Um, I'm really grateful for it. It doesn't happen often, you know? Sorry, you've been with the series since 1998. Resident Evil 2 was Resident the first 2. one I ever played. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, uh, it's, it's interesting that, because, um, I feel like Resident Evil 4, the reason why it gets so much, um, attention is because a lot of people view it as sort of a reintroduction to the series, sort of like, yeah. It's 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 like that game. It's like that part. It's like that game in the series where you don't really need to know what's going on or like what the lore is or what the setup is or what the universe is. Just here's this game. Here's this guy. Here's his mission. Here's what's happening. Go for it. You know. Um, and I've always really enjoyed RE4, even though to be perfectly honest, I'm not a a um, expert on Resident Evil Four. I am interested in survival horror and. The re and a, a recent game that came out called Signalis reminded me early. Or, or I, mean, I played it. Great game. Great game. And I think the reason I liked Signalis is because it actually reminded me of like the original Resident Evil. Even though I never played it, I've seen so much footage of it. And I'm just like thinking, yeah. this is what survival horror should be. And like Signalis is just like, this is what survival horror should be. It should be a yeah. slow pace, but with a decent amount of like, you know, movement. So it feels like you have free control. Well, that that's the thing about the franchise is that you can see its influence on so many games even today because there's a big resurgence that you seem like a gamer to me oh. <laughs> um there seems to be a big resurgence in retro like a like a, re a new retro wave where people are going back to like 8-bit 16-bit graphics because it's nostalgic it's awesome mm -hmm. it's different and you you don't need triple a budgets and make mm -hmm. games like elden ring and god of war you don't need to do that to have a good game and so they're making them for cheaper now and their games are phenomenal like and signalis is a, is a great example it's and it's definitely inspired by resident evil absolutely um and i bet if you ever interview the creators of that game yeah I guarantee you i would bet all the money in my bank account that they were inspired by re i i you know i would not be i would not be surprised because you know our, our resident evil say what you want about 
the different types of games, but it is a, it's an iconic franchise. It established a style. It still has a, it still has a huge amount of inspiration on so many different games it and titles and to this day, yeah. all that. And it's probably going to keep going. It's probably going to keep going. Um, let's actually talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk about games all day. <laughs> Maybe some other, maybe some other time. But you, we're, we're everyone is here for you. You, <laughs> we, we want to know about you. And why don't you, so like, why don't you tell, give us some, uh, some of your acting background. Like, how did you, how did you get to be, be becoming Leon Kennedy? Well, when I, when I started acting in student films, I had a nice boyish look. I started acting around like maybe, <clears throat> maybe 2010, 2011, mm. a little over 12 years ago, and. With my boyish looks, it was really easy for me to be typecast into like the uh, the charming, just boy next door, the boyfriend or whatever, you know. And okay. those were fun starting out, but I got really bored. And I said, this isn't what I wanted to do. I, I wanted to play Indiana Jones roles and, <laughs> you know, your, your John McClane's and your diehards. Like, that's what I grew up with, as did a lot of young boys at the time. And um, I, I, I met some key people in my life in my early career. Um, one is my best friend, James. He's one of my all-time biggest influences in my early career. He introduced me to like the action world, even the independent short film action world. And he trained me with weaponry. I got into stunts and it just like everything kind of just fell into place and I got way more physical. I've always been a physical person, mm -hmm. but I implemented that into my acting. Years went by, um, I, I started to develop myself as an action actor who could mm -hmm. do stunts but can play a leading role like mm -hmm. a you know like a uh, like a vulnerable anti-hero with a tough outer facade you know that was kind of what I was going after mm -hmm. and then when one day someone told me that uh, acting in video games could actually be a viable career I didn't even know that I didn't know much about voiceover I didn't know much about motion capture mm -hmm. and I said what You're, I can act in video games and in, in this town in LA and they said yeah and a light bulb went off and I was like, oh my God, I can, I can, I can, you know, be inside of these games that I play. And I, I went after it and I locked out with Resident Evil 2. Um, if I tell you the whole story, I can't get into it, but there's no reason I should have gotten into that project, but I did. Somehow the universe just made it work and that started my whole career into motion capturing games. And I'm happy living here because <laughs> I'm, I like living in this space because I love games so much. And I know you can relate to that. I, I can. And you know what? Uh, when uh, when it comes to gaming and people who want to do something in gaming, it just their 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 there's a, the, the, their fire is is very distinct to me. So I think that's just why it, it resonates with me more. Just because I know just what what kind of what kind of fire it needs to be. I suppose if that makes sense. It's it's the best when you when you are working with people who are really meant to be there, who mm -hmm. really, really want to be there. And I found that a lot with games. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of, um, before I was into video game acting, I should say, I'd work on a lot of sets and a lot of the, a lot of the teams I worked with, like some were excellent and some mm -hmm. were just there going through the motions. And mm -hmm. it's just like another day on set, another day on set. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like that necessarily. It didn't happen all the time, but it did. And But when I'm working on video games in those motion capture studios mm -hmm. with my fellow actors, like they all typically want, really want to be there. And I just feel so alive. It's like I could, I could, I could be sleep deprived for like a week. Mm -hmm. And the second I step on, like in that studio with my suit on and everything ready to go, my heart just lights up and I'm just like, let's go. Like, I'm ready. Like, it's just something inside. It's just like, it lights a flame inside of me. And so that's why I want to continue doing this. And I feel, I feel really fortunate to have this opportunity. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious to see you appear in, in other, in other, in other, in other projects. I mean, I don't know. Um, so uh, how did you, how did you prepare to play Leon Kennedy? Cause being familiar with both RE2 and RE4 and I believe <laughs> It was Paul Mercer who did the voice for Leon Kennedy in um, RE4. I'm not sure if he did it in RE2, but he definitely did the voice for RE4. Um, in RE4, his name, yeah, it's uh, Paul Mercier. Mercier, again, got it. Oh. Well, people confuse because there's another Leon um, actor. His name is Matthew Mercer. So it's Mercer and then Mercier. But yes, uh, so being so familiar with how he did how he did the character, um, how how did you how did you come up with your own Leon? Because you're it's 
even though it's it's a remaster or a, or a remake, it's it's essentially the whole the character is being made all over again. He is. Uh, I mean, I, I had it, the advantage of of knowledge, anyways, because I, I'm so familiar with the franchise and I understand mm -hmm. the the general character arcs in between, and so that was easy. They mm -hmm. didn't have to explain that to me, and. Uh, the, I, I think it's more of um, attitude is a big thing with mm -hmm. the way that I perform with Resident Evil 2 for instance it was the attitude mm -hmm. and his intention and motivation he was just a rookie really wide eyed uh, naive you know there, there was a lot of that in the original mm -hmm. and then his arc towards the end he, he sees that the world is not all sunshine and rainbows and he mm. gets wise to the world and um and he turns a little bit he gets a little smarter mm. um but then then in this one six years later he's much more jaded he's seen this um he's he's uh he's less patient you know mm. his he's got a shorter fuse and mm. it's the attitude behind a lot of stuff like i got a mission i'm gonna go in i've been through this before and that changes your up your energy uh, as mm. far as the voice goes uh i would say in in re2 mm. they didn't want me to ne necessarily sound younger i have a i have a naturally high register voice and okay. especially you know when you're just talking you're excitable and everything it just gets a little higher like i'm leon kennedy hey yeah uh and this one it's just it's just that energy that just came down a little bit more just mm. like uh, i'm leon kennedy put a little bit more gruff into the voice i mean look he's still only like 26 in this project only yeah, he's, he's, yeah 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 I'm, I'm almost 40 and my voice sounds just like I did when I was 18. So voices don't necessarily change that much, but he's he's more, there's more grizzle to his voice. And um, especially when he's doing his efforts and fights and yelling, it's just more like, <laughs> like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess you up. Like it's kind of that. <laughs> Sorry, it's that ahead. attitude that I brought is, is much, much more than just changing the voice. First off, I just want to say I hope I look half as good as you do when I'm when I catch up to you. Because <laughs> my God, um, well, part of, it, part of it is part of it is doing what you love. I mean, if you're doing what you hate for 20 years, it's going to age you two two, two times faster. You know, true, true. That, I, I believe that. So I feel like a kid in my heart <laughs> because I'm doing what I love and I'm acting and I'm collaborating and helping to create video games. That's still mind blowing to me. It's it's an amazing. I still can't believe that I that this is part of my job. Like I still I I you. still cannot believe it. Um, you seem very happy and excitable too. So I would urge oh, you to stay the course and, and oh, stay right you. here because you belong here, buddy. <laughs> oh well, thank you, thank you. I, I but I think the thing that excites me most is just getting to meet guys like you, people like you, folks like you, because it's just I love seeing excitable, energetic people, um, and this industry has a huge mess of them and they're great um all right sorry um so yeah no i think that that, that makes a lot of sense because there is a there is a serious transition between re2 leon and our um re4 leon like it's yes. it's he he has gone through a lot in that small period of time and it, it comes through in his personality and his voice and his mannerisms like he's he's basically not messing around anymore this is he is just this is his he's 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 just a guy he has a direction that's it and that's yeah. his focus yeah. um and i think i think i think it's there's there's still so much that you can do with a character like that there's because because when when you portray a character like that effectively you at you 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 get all these questions about like why is he like that it what what happened in that gap between then and now, you know, it it, 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 makes you curious and it makes you want to see him kind of six want, it makes you want to see him succeed so that you can hopefully get him to change or like get him to, you know, get back some of that wide eyedness that he used to have just because, you know, it's just like it, 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 to see someone fall so far and be so young. is yeah. just, um, and I think they addressed that well in this. I think they do a good job it's again it's it's, it's another reason why i think I, I mean i personally think re4 is the the best of the series i have not played all of them so i cannot speak fully in with confidence but i still well, you got to now 
I have to. I, you know, I just, I must, I just have to shell out. I still haven't, I, I, I still haven't actually had time to play this new one. I haven't even gotten it yet. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but I, I, I played the, the first, the original one a ton. So I was very excited to talk to you. He's like, oh, yes, it's already far. Now you got to play it. I got to. I got to. <laughs> I was actually reading. I was actually reading um, a report that uh, some. Some of the players who are who played the original game are messing with people who are getting into RE4 for the first time. Like they know nothing about it. Um, but yeah, no, it's just I just thought that was that was funny. Um, okay, so questions about the game. Do you so how how much have you actually played uh, Resident Evil 4? Let's go. Let's just start with this new one. How how much have you played this new one? It's been a very busy few weeks for me, uh, but I got to play it one time through with my mm -hmm. little brother. So nice. that's our tradition. I um, Every time, every time a new Resident Evil game comes out, mm -hmm. and this has been a tradition since 2005, we play it together mm -hmm. for the first time together. So I had to make it work, work out. I had to fly to Boston just to play this game with him. Wow. So I've only had time to play it once with him, and it was really a really special experience. It was like a time machine it was like going back in time and um and playing this version of this thing that we have bonded we have bonded together with for so many years 18 years and we're playing this new version of this game we fell in love with all that time ago and it was just like really strange feeling to describe but it's good it's a good one do you do, do you actually think you'll ever go back to the original ra4 now that you have this one I just beat it on the plane to Boston. <laughs> yeah, I played, I beat that game 50 times. Really? So I, actually, I, what's funny is the same day, the yeah. same day I beat RE4 Remake with him, yeah, yeah. and I had to fly back to Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and I beat the original the same day. <laughs> yeah. Do you, have you ever, have you ever tried speed running it? Like, have you ever, like, I, I do you think I, you could? I, uh, I've tried speedrunning um, RE2 remake. Okay. It's a fun challenge. It's just not why I like games. Sure. I, I sure. respect, like, when I watch a speedrunner, I'm like, oh my, how do you do that? Like, I'm mind blown, right? Mm -hmm. But for me, I just like to experience them in different ways and stuff. So I probably won't get there. To effectively speedrun a game, you have to do it over and over and over again, like repetition. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't have interest or time to do that because I have a list of games I want to play that's like a mile long. Mine keeps growing. I, I really need to just take a week off and just play, <laughs> even though even though I do that as part of my job. It's weird. <laughs> I need to take a break from work playing to you know free time play. Um, okay. Uh, do you have currently any other projects like that you're that, that are that you're that you're working on? Or are you now in, in downtime or? Um, I mean, video game stuff you can never really talk about. I just oh, I could say that I, I've got a, I've got Fair a enough. film I've got a film coming out sometime this summer which is really cool. cool it's an action action film I go to Netflix I have no idea um, cool that's cool, about cool. it and and I I've got motion capture stuff happening all the time but um, when I can talk about that I will all right all right do you actually um, have a motion set uh, motion capture setup of your own like do you have one like no at, that's uh, a I barely have room my room is an absolute mess I have my 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 wood slabs here. I build like custom furniture. I have my art section. Nice. I, I don't have room to walk, and this is why. <laughs> this is why you see this in the background because in back of me it looks like a like a warehouse. <laughs> I, I mean, it's it's a very nice screen. Uh, it's it, it, it's very effective. Um, well, I guess what 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 do you like most about 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 RE4? What do you like most about RE4 and the and the? I guess not just not just. The, Leon Kennedy and and the work that you got to do for it, but like, what do you like most about the game? Like, what makes it special? Just you could say what makes it special to you, but you've talked a lot about how you've grown up with it, how it's a very it has a strong connection right. with you and your brother. So it's, it's, it's a nostalgia for me. It's a nostalgia thing. Um, like I said, it's my it's my most played and favorite game of all time is the original, and then to mm -hmm. see a reimagining of it. Look, even if I wasn't in this game, I'd have the same reaction. I. Um, when I was playing it with him, mm -hmm. I was not paying attention to my voice. I was there, I did it, I understand, I get it. But as a fan, I'm just sitting there and watching him play and experience <laughs> all these scenes that were familiar but different. There were curveballs every inch of the way and it was exhilarating to experience it again. 
like my favorite game again in in a 2023 setting modernized mechanics and the graphics are insane um the characters the heart of it is still there but it's just uh it's a thrill ride too like for for new fans whether you're playing this for the first time never even heard of the original whatever this game is a thrill ride it felt like a disney ride and when it ended like it really does take you on this crazy like adventure and then when it all you know at the end you're just like oh like you you have to take like a deep breath like that's what that's why this game is getting these reviews because it's just well done it's Uh, i can't say it enough that's coming from a fan i mean again i I, I I I need to make I need to make time to actually sit down and play this because I really want to. Yeah. Um, but I know once I do, it's like I can't I won't be able to stop because I have to finish it. Like this has to be my game focus. For the, um, yeah. It, it took us with deaths included. It took us about twenty two hours. Twenty. Were you going for a completionist run or just start to finish fast? No. Like no, not a completionist run. Um, I mean, we did die a lot, uh, but total time is about twenty two hours really wow yep. i don't remember it being that long or the or i mean it has there's been, more there's more to been. this game is that would it be a spoiler for you to get for you to talk about what some of the new stuff is or i can't talk about the new stuff but i could just say that there is more to do okay more to do all right i think that's i think that's fair to say all right well that's good i always like it when remasters remakes add new stuff um yeah. i really like that's i think that's a great thing to do um I mean, keeping in mind like the the original the original pieces and not just adding something random, but like it actually fits. So I think I you as a fan of the original, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I'm excited. I'm excited to, to check it out. Um, see, I'm, I, I want to ask you like a certain questions about the game, but I'm trying to phrase them in ways that won't reveal too much. Um, do you still get scared? Like after playing this game for so many years and you know acting in it and i can and can i i can only imagine that that exposed you to the game 24 7 while you were doing this um do you does it still scare you like does it still you know do you still have to play with all the lights <laughs> um i would say after uh, after resident evil 3 came out in 1999 i mm-hmm. stopped being scared from these games but i never stopped loving them mm-hmm. Uh, there are certain franchises that that have always scared me like Silent Hill is like more it's because it's more psychological True. you know when I, when I was a lot younger the zombies and the the bosses would always be like oh my god like because I never played games like that before and I was a mm-hmm. teenager but when you get into psychological horror that tends to uh, mess with me a little bit more mm-hmm. and uh, so these games no it, it wasn't scary it's just, it, it is a very fun experience and very immersive too because I like the survival horror aspect of it. I like the challenge of managing your inventory and seeing like, what do I really need for this next boss fight and figuring out how to get that or conserve mm-hmm. ammo. That's what I love about these games. I, I feel that, I feel that. And okay, uh, uh, all right, here's a, here's a question. If you had to give the game one criticism, what would it be? I wish I had that question in advance. I really don't know. Um, <laughs> criticism. Uh, like, is there any is there any mechanic or any like enemy in the game that's just like, man, I just it's just like you just you're just not happy. <laughs> you're just not happy for just like a brief moment when it happens. It's like, oh man. Um, I haven't even gotten there yet. You know, with my first playthrough, I was so blown away mm-hmm. that I I I didn't. I wasn't thinking in that realm. Um, I'd have to get back to you on that. All right. I, no. I don't know. All right. No worries. It, I, it is kind of a uh, it is it is a kind of a question that does require. That does it's require. a good question though. It's it's a good question for a fan like me. Okay. Would you ever? Would you ever? Um, be play a role for a Silent Hill game? If someone off, oh, if it, totally. Yeah. That's that was one of the first games i ever played actually where i i had to we're talking playstation one era mm-hmm. i was playing playstation uh i placed it uh, silent hill mm-hmm. one and two but yeah. even one back in the day that was the first game that i had 
to shut off at like three in the morning because I did not want to see what was like behind that next door, you know? And I had I had my covers over my head some nights after Silent Hill because of the psychological torture that they gave to you. And it was very intentional and it was brilliant. So I would love to be in a Silent Hill game for sure. Uh, I mean, it, you, you definitely have you definitely have survival horror experience, so I think that's definitely gonna gonna be a boon for you. Okay, is there something that you would want? Is there something that you would want to say, or that you've been wanting to say in this interview that I have not asked or said anything to prompt you to say it? Oh, that's a good question too. <laughs> uh, my brain doesn't work that way. Um... I'm a planner. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if I want to be. I mean, I feel like I've been involved with this franchise for so long. It's this doesn't come new to me, uh, and, and I feel like people have known that I'm I'm Leon in this game for so long that this, it doesn't feel like a wave of like, here I am, world, you know. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. So that's why I I haven't been in this I haven't been in this uh this brain space for a long time actually. Um. No, not really. I mean, I'll have interviews coming up soon, and I'm sure a lot of questions will come out. And so whatever people want to ask me, they can ask me. I, well, that's kind of a non-answer, but. I know, but no, I, 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 I appreciate, I appreciate, I, again, I appreciate the honesty. Um, and, you know, just thank you for being just very open and very just relaxed and just for making this fun and casual and just like an enjoyable enjoyable an enjoyable talk because that's that's what i love about this and yeah, congrats just happy to be here man yeah and and congratulations again like really tremendous work i look forward to playing to playing it and i look forward to seeing what else you're gonna do uh and yeah uh can, again great great work great stuff keep keep it up um and thank you so thank you so much for your time thank you so much for talking with me thank you so much for answering all my questions as thoroughly and honestly as you did um and yeah uh, i hope everything goes well and i hope we get to talk again sometime down the line because you're you're a very you're a very pleasant and fun and fun guy to talk to oh, thanks <laughs> Well, you exude your, your passion for this, so I would say definitely keep on doing what you're doing. This is where you belong, dude. I mean that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That, that, that really does make me feel good. Thank you. You can't um, hide it. <laughs> <laughs> thanks again, and good to meet you, Nick. I'll see you around. Thanks. Bye.